Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And this video, I'm showing you how to obtain the agent in Minecraft Bedrock Edition and how to use it. We'll be going over all of its commands. And so the agent is the mob you see right beside me. This is it right here. As you can see, it is called MaximilianFay.agent, which is just my name, dot agent. And so before we go into all the different features of this agent mob in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, let's first show you how you actually obtain this mob. And it's not through the spawn X, as you can see. And so the method I'll show you to obtain the agent will work in every single current version of Bedrock Edition. So that's PC, console and Pocket Edition as well. And so to obtain the agent, you actually don't need to download anything. You also don't even need to activate Education Edition. It is in completely vanilla Bedrock Edition. And so to show this off, I'll just load up into a new world. So how do you get this agent? Well, first what you need to do is type in the following command. So activate cheats and then typing slash gif at p spawn egg like this 151 and if you do that you get yourself an npc spawn egg now you might be thinking why do we need an npc spawn egg trust me it is necessary so what you need to do is just spawn in an npc like this and right click it then what you need to do is go over to the advanced settings of the npc and click add command and in here is where we're going to add our important command so what we'll need to put in here is slash execute as at p run agent create and then just click this button mode over here like this you can put in the text for the button like this and go back then go into the dialog and click the button on the bottom left here and this will create an agent there it is there is my agent and so all the agent commands need to be run through the npc since we're not on full education edition actually education edition is not even enabled in this world as you can see we go into settings game and scroll down you can see that education edition is not enabled in this world so now we have our agent let's go over all of the agent commands there's quite a lot of them so let's get into them so the first command is the attack command so if we go back into our agent and type in agent attack then we can put in a direction afterwards which can be either forward back left right up or down so let's tell the agent to attack forward and then go into add a dialogue and click the button now you couldn't really see what was going on there so let's make sure the agent is in our view even though we open up this dialogue so let's click this and you can see the agent attacks so of course there's nothing it can attack right now so let's summon in a mob here so we'll summon in a zombie over here inside some barrier blocks so let's take a look at this it's difficult to see this in action but here we go let's click the button and we can see that the agent attacks the zombie if we do this again click and again, you can see that the agent attacks the zombie over and over. And so after a while, if you click this enough, the zombie will actually die. But all right, let's go into the next command, which is actually the destroy command. So let's destroy forward like this. Go back and click the button. And there we go. We can see that the agent destroys the stone brick and it drops the item as well. The next command is the drop command. And for this, we need to make use of the inventory of the agent because yes, it has an inventory. You can right click it to open the inventory of the agent and then just put in some items. Let's put in a few items like this. So let's put a lot of these stone bricks in its first slot, which means we can do agent drop then the id of the slot so let's do the first slot and let's make it drop 17 of those stone bricks and why not let's make the agent drop them back like this go back add a dialog and click and there we go as you can see the agent dropped these stone bricks back i don't have any stone bricks right now if i pick them up indeed i have 17 stone bricks the next we have the move command so just type in run agent move and you can make it move forward back left right up or down so let's make it move up and you can see that that doesn't work. The agent just shrugs and doesn't move up because, of course, that doesn't work. Same thing happens if we put in down, as you can see there. But every other direction will work. So let's say left. And the agent moves to its left. Next is turn. It's also quite easy to understand. So agent turn left. You can put in left or right. Click. And you can see that the agent turns. Click. And it turns again. And again. And the final time, and it's back to its original position. Then we have the inspect command. So let's go into the command and type in agent inspect forward. And so let's see what this does. And so as you can see, the agent does move its head forward, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. If you know what this inspect command is supposed to do, let me know in the comments down below. Similarly, there's also the detect command, which does a similar thing. And there's also the detect redstone command like this. 
which again does not seem to be doing anything. For the next command, and again, we will use the inventory. So just so you know, there's 35 stone bricks in the first slot of the agent. But then we can use the transfer command. So we transfer from slot 1, 34 stone bricks to slot 27. And if we go back and click the button, you will see that now indeed there is 34 stone bricks in that final slot. Of course, the agent create command we already saw at the start. And so if you wanted to create more agents in your world, the only way to do that is actually to use, for example, a structure block to copy over a part of your world that includes the agent and then load that structure somewhere else in your world. And that way you could get multiple agents in the same world. And so apart from the agent create command, there is also the agent remove command. We'll get to that command at the end of the video. So before we saw we could move the agent forward, backward, left or right. But that's not always super useful. You can also teleport the agent using the TP command. So we can TP the agent to whatever coordinates we want. We can also do it relative to the NPC. So let's say we want to teleport the agent 10 blocks in the positive Z direction with respect to the NPC. Then we can do that just like this. And now indeed we can see that there is the agent. And now you can see that indeed the agent can definitely float. And once you place a block below it, you can see that it lands. That's its behavior. All right, let's teleport it back to an easier spot like this. And there it is again. You can also ask the agent to collect items. So let's throw a couple of items down here. There we go. So now we type in agent collect and we type in diamond. Go back and click. And there we go. As you can see, the agent has collected the diamonds and has left the redstone on the floor. And there are the diamonds right there in its inventory. Then we have the till command. So we can use agent till forward like this, and now we'll see something interesting. Keep watch on the agent there. So I'll click the button right now, and you can see that the agent actually grabs a hoe from somewhere, it doesn't even have one, and it tills the land directly in front of it. Let's take a look at that again. Click, and there we go, it tills the land right in front of it. Then we have the place command. Let's place the block in the first slot actually back, why not? And so click add a dialog, and click, and there we go, you can see that the agent places a block right behind it. You saw an animation there as well. So let's take a look at that again. Add a dialog, click, and there we go, it places the block right behind it. For some reason, it doesn't take the block out of its inventory, though. You can also use the agent get command, like this. Agent get, for example, the count of the number of items in slot 27. However, as you can see, nothing happens here, because this would display in the chat for the player that runs the command. But as we're running the command through the NPC, it doesn't actually display anything. So you can't really use the agent get command at all to get anything useful. All right, so now let's take a look at the final command, which is the agent remove command. So let's run agent remove, go back, add a dialog and click the button. And you'll see that it doesn't work. Yeah, for some reason, only the agent create command works and the remove agent command does not work. And so there's pretty much no way of getting rid of this guy. He'll be there in your world forever. If you do know of a way to get rid of the agent, please let everyone know in the comments down below. And so there we go. That is how to get the agent and all of the agent commands in Minecraft Better Condition. If you like this video, then please subscribe.